Hi guys, welcome to MetaFit. Oh no, I'm doing it again. I'm rubbing my hands. I swore I wasn't going to do it this time. Right, welcome to MetaFit guys. This workout is called 2012. As you can see, I'm on the track to do this workout. It makes it a bit more real. Let's go through the exercises. Now I've changed things slightly. Because people are just looking at these videos and doing their own MetaFit style workouts, I've decided not to give away the work and rest ratios and the order of the exercises. So the only people that can get hold of those are legitimate MetaFit qualified instructors who are downloading the tracks and who have done the training course. So I'm going to show the exercises, but in terms of the interval distances and workout timings, you'll have to download and become a coach to get hold of those. So this workout is called 2012. It's a homage to the Olympics. So let's have a look at the exercises. First exercise is the long jump. Yep, long jump position. The weight is back on the heels, head and chest is up. Use the arms to swing through, land decelerating and jog back. Yep, chest and head up, land in that squat position. What people will tend to do is take off and land one foot at a time, over jump and land with their body weight coming forward or do no jump at all and just turn it into a nothing exercise. It's down, explode, control and jog back. Use your arms and use those big muscles, the bum and thighs, to propel you forward, keep the head and chest up and watch for that lower back. Yeah, there should be no movement in the back. The core is what's holding you up. Yep. Yeah. You want to work harder, you just do a bigger, longer jump. So that's the long jump. Next exercise is a new one, but it's an extension of a wood chop. It's the discus throw. So, hip width apart. You go down, back and chest and head up. And when you explode, you transfer the weight from the bottom through into the waist, turn through the hips, and then the arm flings across. So when that movement sped up, yeah, it's that transfer of weight. But I'm doing it quite ballistically, quite fast. I'm trying to drive the power from my hips, and it's that outside arm. Imagine you're holding a discus. That's what we're trying to do. Bang. Legs, waist, arm. Controlled, well, I'm coming down with a straight back. What people will do is they'll turn it into a wood chop, and I'm not very good one at that. It's not a wood chop, it's a throw. That heel comes off, and you follow through with the arm. Yep, no lower back extensions and flexions from the back. Okay, and it's just not a scoop over the shoulder. It's a whole body exercise. Halfway through, we'll change and do the other side. Bend, back. See, I'm controlling it at the top. It's not a flop. It's a controlled twist using all the muscles on the body. Okay, so that's the discus. The next one we've got is the block. It's a volleyball block. So, in the Olympics again, the net, well, it's up there somewhere, isn't it? When you block, you go down, up, and you tip the fingers up at the top. You move to the side. Yep. Make people try and block, get their arms up. It's not a little pathetic jump, okay? It's not it's just a swing of the arms. You're trying to get them to explode up. Yeah, if they're getting tired, just do a smaller jump. Step to the side, because if you're playing in a game, there's some movement there. Okay, so the volleyball block. So we've got the long jump, the discus, the volleyball block with those hands up in the air. The next one is the lunges, racket lunges. So, tennis player, badminton player, the racket's here, I'm going to turn, and then I come back. As I turn, it's a lunge, the weight goes through the heel and onto that knee, and this foot 
drives me back up. Other side, and then continual lunge turns. They can't get hold of the arm movement, just make it a turning lunge. Yep, nice and deep. That knee's down, not a scoop forward and a step. It's a lunge, alternating feet. Forehand, backhand. Okay, tennis lunge step, side to side. Okay, next exercise, we're on the hands in the core position, all fours, body weight forward, shoulder blades dropped, no bums in the air, bottoms down. This is the simple version, just holding. It's called the pommel horse. Straight back, legs go out, but I'm trying to do it without moving my hips. This is what happens, this is what people do wrong. They turn it into some sort of yeah, up and down movement. No, it's still, it's small, and I'm using my core to hold the body still. Easy version, single leg, but I'm still not going up and down, humping the floor, I'm keeping it still. Yeah, it's a core exercise, no rotations, definitely no up and down with the bum. The pommel horse, double leg, or single leg. Okay, good. Then we've got the high jump. Okay, the high jump, driving up from the foot from a lunge position. We've done this before. You step back, that's the start position. This knee comes through into a jump. Step back, I'm upright, my chest's up, powering through. If that's too hard, go just to a knee lift halfway and then we change again down into the lunge all the weights back here on the heel forward don't let people turn it into an aerobic movement none of this that's rubbish that's nothing that's a dance movement i want to lunge down and then explode through if they can't do the explode then at least lift all the way up it's a big movement, a massive movement. It gets you absolutely knackered because all the big muscle groups are working. Okay, so that's the high jump lift. So we've got the long jump, the discus, the pommel, the racket lunges, the block, and then the high jump lift. Yep, six different exercises. Let me count them to make sure I've got them. Okay, long jump discus, pommel, rackets, high jump and block. Yeah, we've got all six. At the end of that round, three sprints. 15 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, one after another. So, remember, when we're sprinting, you don't sprint down here. That's a cheat. You don't do this with the arms. What does that do? The, the muscles there don't do anything when you're sprinting. The power comes from the thigh, the bum and the shoulders. The knees aren't up to waist height, then you're not engaging the bum, the glutes on the other side. Yep, even if people are going slowly, I want to see their knees up. See what I'm doing with my arms? I'm powering. That's how you sprint. Yep, no flicking, no flicking there. Big movements. 15 seconds on. 10 seconds rest times three. There's four rounds. Each time you go through those exercises and then you end with a sprint. Long jump, big movement, decelerate. Keep the feet wide, chest and head up. Yep. Discus, hip width, down. Power through, throw that discus as you throw. Swapping sides, straight backs. Okay, then we've got the tennis lunge. Light on the toes, bang into a lunge. And the other way, keep up tall. Get that back knee right down to the floor. Okay, pommel on the hands, shoulder blades drop, bang, bang. Weight forward, shoulders down, using my core to stabilize. Get the block. 
tip those hands over the net. Yeah, if they're struggling, just a smaller jump, but get those arms up. Okay, and then we got the sprints at the end. So, do the workout yourself. Try those exercises. Try not to vary them. Do them how I'm doing them. Don't give them your own little slant. Make them big movements. Don't let people water them down and make the range of movement smaller. Big movements, it doesn't matter how many they do, I just want to see them done properly. And that's how they should be doing them in your class. So take another look through this video of demos. Click under for the download, enter your code and try it out. 2012 MetaFit Workout. Let's have a little look round. Come on, off we go. Here we go. Look at that. Oh look, there's Mo Farah. No, it's not. Oh look, there's Usain Bolt. Oh no, it's not. In fact, I'm the only person here. Come on, Sebco. What about the legacy? Look at it. It's deserted. There we go. Let's end on the track. Oh yeah.